Hi everybody, welcome to Wheaton College. We're gonna start by talking a little bit about the curriculum here at Wheaton and how it differs from other liberal arts institutions, then talk about experiential learning opportunities, then we'll talk a little bit about life on campus, where we're located, campus life in general, and end by talking a little bit about the admission and financial aid process. So starting with Wheaton as a whole, a little quick facts and figures. Uh, we are a liberal arts college in Norton, Massachusetts. We have about 1,800 students total, which puts us in that small school range. A little bit about our curriculum here, we only have three requirements within our curriculum. Uh, this might not seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it just gives students a lot more flexibility within that curriculum. The first requirement that every student has to complete is a first year experience. This is a course that every first year student is required to take, and it's basically a how-to college course. It teaches you how to transition from high school learning to college learning, and how to maintain and know your resources on campus. The second requirement that every student has to take is a sophomore experience. And it's some sort of experiential learning piece. Uh, we focus highly on experiential learning here at WEA. We want students to get out of the classroom and focus whatever it is they're learning in the classroom to the real world. The third and final requirement is your major or minor, whatever it is you're deciding to study. Uh, you can double major, double minor, one major, one minor, just do a major, whatever category you want to go into you have a bunch of options to make that happen. You're also gonna get two advisors starting your freshman year. One of those advisors is your academic advisor. They help you plan out your four years, pick classes you might be interested in, and guide you through the process to make sure you're getting all of your credits and classes in within that time frame. Your second advisor is your student success advisor, and they help you with everything outside of the classroom. Finding internships, interview skills, building your resume, how to correctly shake someone's hand, the next thing I want to talk about is experiential learning opportunities. Experiential learning is a huge asset to our college campus and something we like to focus on when thinking about our curriculum. The first thing I like to talk about is internships. Internships are vitally important because they are real world applications to whatever it is you're studying in the classroom. It's one thing to learn about political science and take all the courses in political science. It's a totally different world interning for a campaign or working for the White House or whatever it is you decide to do with that degree. And this is where you're really gonna figure out what it is you wanna do and what field you wanna be in. Here at Wheaton, we have this program called the Wheaton Edge. It is our pretty unique internship program that gives students a step up on other students looking for internships. The reason for that is it's guaranteed funding for whatever internship a student decides to take on. So let's say a student finds their dream internship. It's exactly what they wanna do and perfect for them, but it's unpaid. We understand that that can be a huge drawback for a lot of students. So this Wheaton Edge stipend will offer you $3,000 in order to finance that internship. Um, so even if it's unpaid, you are gonna get funded for it. It makes students not have to decide between an internship that they really love, but is unpaid, and an internship that they're not as excited about, but they're gonna get paid for. We want you to take the one that you're passionate about, and we'll provide the funding to make that happen. The second experiential learning piece I like to talk about is our study abroad programs. We put a huge emphasis on study abroad here at Wheaton. About 55% of our students in the past 10 years have studied abroad for at least one semester. We like to make it as affordable and accessible for our students as possible. There's no additional cost to studying abroad. The only thing you have to pay for yourself is going to be your flights to get there, uh, and then your housing at whatever institution you decide to attend abroad. You will not be paying housing at Wheaton, um, and nine times out of 10, it's actually going to be a less expensive experience paying tuition at whatever school you decide to spend uh, at, at a different country. You can go absolutely anywhere. The only two requirements are one, you're going to a country that's deemed safe by the U.S. Department of Travel, and two, you're going to an institution where the credits are going to transfer back to Wheaton at the end of your semester. With those two criteria, the world is your oyster and you can go absolutely anywhere you want. Kind of a fun fact about Wheaton is we are one of the only undergraduate schools in the country that has a study abroad program to the country of, you guessed it, Bhutan. Uh, which is a small country south of China, the happiest country in the world. Um, it's a really great experience. We send a handful of students there each semester. So if it's ever been your life dream to go to Bhutan, this is the place to make it happen. Wheaton is an undergraduate only institution. What this means is we don't have any grad students on our campus. So when research opportunities with the professors come up, they're going directly to the undergraduate population. You're not going to have to fight with any grad students for those opportunities. Um, and professors are constantly looking for students to help them with different projects. Um, and kind of a benefit of the Wheaton Edge as well, if you do find an awesome research opportunity with a professor and it's unfunded, 
you can use that Wheaton Edge stipend to help fund that semester to work with them. So it's a really great opportunity. Again, you can get funding to do it and have research on your resume as you graduate. Next, I wanna move on to life on campus and where we are. We are located in Norton, Massachusetts, the most exciting city in the world. Uh, we're about a half an hour north of Providence, 45 minutes south of Boston. So we're uniquely situated right in between the two major cities in New England. We have a free bus system called the Gatra that'll take you to a bunch of different shopping centers in the local Norton area. It'll also take you to the Mansfield Crossing commuter rail station. In the directly surrounding area, about five minutes down the road, we have the Xfinity Center, uh, which is an outdoor concert hall that has a real, lot of really cool shows that come. And then 20 minutes down the road, we have Patriots Place in Gillette Stadium, which is where the New England Patriots and the New England Revolution play. Patriots Place is a giant outdoor kind of mall area. There's a movie theater, a bunch of restaurants, places to hang out. So it is kind of an epicenter for a lot of our students if they want to get off campus and just do something fun for the day. Life on campus, which is where we want to keep you, has a lot of opportunities for students as well. We have over 100 different clubs and organizations. At the beginning of every year, we do an activities fair right out on the quad where every club comes out, they set up a table and have representatives from their clubs available for students to talk to. So you get in that first week of your first year uh, the opportunity to talk to students who are interested in some of the same things you are before you sign up for all those clubs and organizations. A lot of times first year students come back from this fair and they've signed up for 30 different clubs and that's a great problem to have but you really got to narrow it down. Um, it's nice to have that depth and breadth of different opportunities for you to join while on campus. In terms of athletics, we are a Division III school in the NUMAC conference. Being a Division III athlete basically means that you are an athlete and your athletics matter. However, your academics are going to come first and your coaches, teammates, and everyone understands that you have to maintain your grades, make sure you're doing your homework and getting your coursework in on time. Varsity is the highest level of athletics that we have. Um, it is the biggest time commitment. It's going to require the most effort. If you ever didn't want to commit to that full-time varsity level, we also have club sports, which are the next level. It's still going out and challenging other schools. Um, however, it's not going to be as much of a time commitment. And then right under that, we have intramural sports, which is basically making a bunch of teams with your friends and facing other Wheaton students. Um, so it's a great way to stay active, have fun, and stay involved in athletics. In terms of living on campus, about 96% of our students live on campus for all four years. So we are a mainly residential school. The housing options, when you come in your first year, you're typically going to be placed in a dorm style residence hall. What I mean by that is it's a hallway with a bunch of rooms off of it. You're typically going to be in a double room as well. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the application and financial aid process here at Wheaton. Wheaton is a Common App exclusive school. Basically what that means is you can only apply to us through the Common App. Super convenient for you. You fill out the Common App one time and can send it out to as many schools as you want. We have three different application types. Early action, early decision, and regular decision. On the flip side of things, in financial aid, we do offer two forms of aid, merit-based and need-based. Merit-based aid is based solely off your academics and how well you do in school. Financial aid or need-based aid is determined when you fill out the FAFSA in the CSS profile. I hope you learned something about our institution and I hope to see you on campus soon touring or seeing one of our information sessions in person.